sometimes people wonder what role spirituality plays in their life, or if there is a spiritual dimension to their life. Perhaps that's true for you. You may already know that lighting candles and burning incense just isn't for you. Maybe you've had a friend invite you to a meditation group, and you go to the group, and you go through the meditation period, and afterwards, people are talking about how great it was. And you're sort of smiling, thinking, oh, am I glad it's over. I can't wait to get out of here. I am never doing this again. I just sat in an uncomfortable chair for 20 minutes. That's okay. You don't have to be into candles or incense or meditation groups. That may not be the way spirituality plays out in your life. Just as we each have our own personality, just as we have individualized fingerprints, spirituality is unique for each person. The way spirituality plays a role in your life will be particular to you. So it's important to understand what that is and what is unique about the spiritual dimension of your life. To get an understanding of that, it may be helpful to reflectively ask yourself some questions. And in considering these questions, it may help if you're able to take some notes and do a little journaling to keep track of your thoughts, to sort it out a little bit for yourself. Begin with something really simple, something familiar. When you think about the times that have been difficult in your life, and we've all had difficult times in life, what's gotten you through? What do you hold on to when times are tough? What's your sense of source of hope? What do you hope for in life? What gives you a sense that life is going to be okay for you or that you're a worthwhile person, that you have merit, that you have value for just being the person you are? How do you understand that? When you think about your life, where are the times when you feel a sense of peace? or a sense that you're grounded and secure, that the life you're living is, is okay, or that some things in your life are okay. How do you get that understanding? Maybe you've been part of a religious or spiritual group in the past. Were there things about that group that were helpful to you? And conversely, and this is just as important, what wasn't helpful? Understanding what was helpful and not helpful can be some good indicators for us. And where and when in life have you experienced a sense of awe, a sense of wonder, when you've been overwhelmed with a sense of life being beautiful or good or amazing? Pay attention to all of these questions. Think about them and reflect on them and see where that reflection takes you to help you understand where spirituality is, is active in your life. In addition to considering these questions, another thing that can be helpful is working with a spiritual director. Now, a spiritual director is different from a spiritual teacher. A spiritual teacher teaches a particular spiritual path. So there are spiritual teachers in Buddhism and Christianity and Hinduism and all the great religions. And their role is to really teach you practices that are consistent with that tradition. But a spiritual director reflectively listens to you and your experience, asks questions to help you make connections, and in the end helps you to find your spiritual direction. In another video, I'll talk more about spiritual direction. But for now, I think what's important is to just begin with the questions I raised and consider some of the contours, some of the ways in which spirituality has woven itself through your life already by understanding what you hold on to in difficult times, where you experience peace, where, what you hope in, as well as where you experience awe. Thanks for your time today. Be sure to like this video as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel. And feel free to leave some comments so that I can respond to you.